10, 11, 12. Oh, I didn't know you were filming. I'm going to show you a connector system that is ideal for railing jobs and other carpentry projects that is super strong and 100% invisible. Stay tuned. What's holding my chin up bar together? Watch and learn. What you've just seen in action is a tool called the Lamello Invis. Now I purchased this just under a year ago and I use it for railing connections. I'm going to walk you through connecting a railing to a fitting using this tool which works off a magnetic system. The Lamello Invis comes in this little sustainer sort of the guts of the whole system is this mini mag magnet that fits into a drill and it must be a cordless drill not an electric drill. You're going to drill out the holes in your corresponding pieces with this drill guide using this uh, drill bit here and there's a sleeve for a couple of the different applications. Uh, you're going to use these pins that come with the kit and also this uh, bushing that ensures that your your holes are perpendicular uh, to your workpiece and it's really important to use this jig with this uh, bushing there's also a screw that will aid in holding that into uh, a small workpiece so you can drill straight this piece here is called a insertion jig and what that is used for is when you're using the 14 millimeter studs it ensures that they go in perpendicular to the the workpiece. Um, also in the kit is this extender so if you have sort of a, a tight spot to put the mini mag into you can have your drill uh, so that's at slight angle. The one thing you have to do is make sure that you hold the mini mag in your offhand uh, because it will drop out of that if you're not careful. There is also a bit that goes into your drill for inserting the uh, studs and the joining element into your, your work pieces. What you're going to get with the kit is a box of 20 uh, joining elements that are magnetic and then these smaller 14 millimeter uh, studs that that make the connection work. If you're doing a larger workpiece like a table or a newel post to railing connection then I use the longer 35 millimeter stud and it gives you more hold. So this is simply inserted into a drill. There's a magic RP RPMs between 1200 and 1500 that will tighten the clamping element into the stud and you'll actually hear a hammering noise when that happens. Now also what you need to know is that your clamping element has to be in, in a range between 9 millimeters from the outside edge of the workpiece to the center and 15 millimeters. Once you get beyond that the system's not going to work. You can dry fit the connections quite easily, take them apart before you glue. The one thing I will mention is that when you're dry fitting just dry fit it enough so that it, it tightens just a wee bit. Don't pound it home because it'll be a little harder to get apart. One thing I will point out is that uh, the joining elements break down to about $10 each. So add that uh, cost into uh, your budget. Now that I've described how an Invis works and what's in the kit, Let's make a railing to fitting connection with the Invis tool combined with a domino.
I'm just going to show you how to use these steel pins with the rubber o-ring in the middle with the drilling guide. You simply take that o-ring, wet it with a bit of uh, saliva and insert it into the drilling guide so that o-ring will hold it halfway on each side of the guide. So what you're going to do is you're going to drill into one piece of work from this side, flip the guide over and drill from the opposite side on your other piece of work and you'll get proper alignment. Now I'm going to remove that bushing from the jig, flip the jig over and reinstall it on the other side so I'll get a perfect uh, match when I drill the railing. Now I'm going to take that sleeve off because I have further to drill. And I'll drill out for the element. Now I'm going to insert the inner sleeve into the fitting. So now we'll do a dry fit with the domino as well. And that seems to be fitting really nice. As I mentioned in my video on the Domino XL connector system, fittings and railings are often slightly different in size, so you'll need to sand them well after your glue up. I've had questions from viewers on why a connector is necessary on these railing connections. My answer is that these connections are often impossible to clamp considering the length of railings. You can use other methods to secure the joint while the glue is drying, like masking tape, but nothing holds like a connector combined with glue for a lasting joint. Check out my other videos on balustrade building and working with the Festool Domino. Now everything you've seen in this video is legit, except for maybe the 12 chin-ups. But I used to be able to do 12 chin-ups. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment below, help grow this channel, share with other people, and thank you very much for watching. What are you doing down there? You gotta focus on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah.